Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is an arm video focused around the biceps and triceps. Every single exercise is going to be a superset, so you're gonna do a bicep workout, then a tricep workout for the amounts of sets and reps given, and then you'll move on to the next superset. It's three supersets and then a burnout at the end, as per usual on this channel. Now I did start out with two warm-up sets, that's why for this exercise I say I did four working sets because whenever I do my first um, weightlifting exercise, I always like to do some warm up just to get my body acclimated to the weight before I go ahead and start pushing a decently heavy amount of weight for whatever exercise I am doing. So I went ahead and did 12 reps once I reached a weight that I felt comfortable with. And you guys will see here in a second, but I wanted to give you guys an example of what I mean whenever I say like you should be struggling on your last two to three reps. You guys will see here in a second, like if you can watch my facial expressions and I'm kind of like pushing the weight really hard. You see, I'm able to complete the exercise and the movement with decently good form, but you know, I'm not getting stuck. I'm still able to do it and push through it, but it's just very difficult and challenging. That's when you know you've picked a good solid weight to be doing. Now here's the superset workout we are doing with this. This is going to be straight bar curls. The best key tip I can give you guys for this is to try to keep your posture as good as possible. I try to keep my shoulders back and I try not to swing. I definitely catch myself swinging a lot with exercises like this, but the less you swing, the more control and burn you will have on your biceps. Also a slight bend in the knee really helps as well. And going into the second superset, this is going to be alternating cross body hammer curls. So for this superset, we are starting off with biceps this time. Again, it's four sets, 12 reps each. As you guys can see, I'm holding those dumbbells at slightly like an angle on the side. They're kind of turned inward. And then you're going to go ahead and bring into a hammer curl and bring it up across your body. The dumbbell usually falls somewhere around like middle the middle of your chest obviously depending on your body structure but typically it'll fall somewhere around there and you want to really make sure you are squeezing the crap out of your bicep as you are pulling that weight up And the superset exercise is going to be tricep close grip push downs. Now you can do it this way or you can do it where you're not leaning against a pad and you're just pushing the weight down in front of you. Either way works. This is just what I've been liking to do lately. As far as how far out you lean against it or whatever, it's kind of going to be up to you and your own personal preference, but that is how I personally like to stand. And the last super set is going to be four working sets, but we are doing 15 reps each. And these are going to be wide grip curls on an incline bench. Now these are the most difficult way to do wide grip curls. You definitely won't be curling as much weight as you typically do if you were standing or sitting up straight. You literally want it to be to where your arms are hanging completely down, like your arms are just dead. And then you are squeezing your bicep as you're pulling that weight up. And I will tell you, out of any bicep workout, I feel these the most for sure 100%. And the exercise you're supersetting with is going to be tricep kickbacks. You can also do these with dumbbells as well, as you've seen on my channel before, if you've ever seen any of my other arm video workouts. Um, but what I like to do is try to keep my back as parallel to the ground as possible. Sometimes I lean up a little bit more. Really just do whatever feels best for you. Slight bend in the knee for some stability, and then just go ahead and kick that weight back. And for the burnout, I decided to do, that's what AMRAP means, just so you guys know, is as many reps as possible, but I did tricep dips here, and I did stack plates on top of there. It's just two 45-pound plates. You can also do these on an assisted machine as well if you don't want to do them that way. And then, of course, I needed to do a burnout for the biceps as well, so I did some chin-ups. 
and here I am trying to, you know, go all the way down into the best form possible, but this second set, um, if you guys can see that reflection, that's my boyfriend, like, watching me, making sure I'm doing good form, but see here, he was, like, distracted, so I kind of did, like, half-ass reps for some of those. I was laughing when I was watching that back, how much I, like, slack when he's not watching me and, like, drilling me on my form, but I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.